Hey there, guys. Frankomatic here with uh, Sess. Hey. And last time we. A volunteer must be found. This. Gotta gotta find someone to cut Dad's heart out. Ideas? I'm really sorry, Adam, but just thinking of the embalming frightens me. Coward. But I am so old and frail, my lord. How could I help Marinda? She, I'm sure, has a sharp implement that you could use. Yeah, I don't think she's asking you to just, like, punch a hole in this chest. Can you not touch dead? You know, not everybody, this is actually the best hint. Don't go, don't, don't go and ask Fug, because he won't want to do it either. Yeah. Maybe Eloy is, is up for it. Well, easy for anyway. Good question. Uh, oh. Up. Right. I always forget that the travel somewhere else is uh, top of the screen, regardless of uh, whatever else. Snow. Dinosaurs marching through the snow. So why didn't Eloy help us out with this? Uh, that's just gonna take me back, isn't it? Because Eloy's still not here. So now what are you gonna do? Well, limits our option a bit. Jabber recognizes the hunting horn, my lord. Your father promised to make him a gift of it. And that was a lot of sound for uh, yeah. <laughs> He seems to want it badly. How can you understand what he says, monk? Years of experience, Eve, patience, and understanding. Uh, the poor fellow had few besides me who would befriend him. Fair enough. Well, here you go. I don't really have any need for this. He is overwhelmed by your generosity. He says he would gladly help your father's heart escape its mortal cage to repay your kindness. Also, I kind of figured that would be what would happen. <laughs> you are indeed a loyal servant and friend, Jabber. Thanks to you, the king will find eternal peace. You know, I only just now thought about it, but cutting the dude's tongue out and then and then calling him a jabber forever is kind of, kind of rude. Yeah. <laughs> maybe his name was Jabber before, though. Yeah, maybe. By the way, did you notice he's in your party? Yep. Why don't you talk to him for fun? Well, might as well. I assume he's not going to stay too long. Oh. Show him stuff. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm glad that he has different responses for things, even though Monk hasn't bothered to uh, elaborate any. <laughs> that was. Oops. That seems like it was a worthwhile use of time. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that the executioner would be willing to uh, cut a dude's heart out. Yeah. Have you 
brought one who is willing to wield the blade of transcendence? We have, Marinda. Jabber the Executioner will be grateful for the opportunity. In his time, he has seen much suffering and death. He is not afraid. I don't really see much suffering here, considering the king is supposed to be dead. Yeah. He is eager to begin. Okay, now it's getting a little weird. Yep. Is this true, Executioner? No! Uh, uh, I don't want no! Uh, uh. Yes, he is eager to test the Blade of Transcendence. A true professional, it seems. I don't like where this is going. It seems like he might be shitting us. Jabber seems frightened to me, Adam. Frightened? Uh, nonsense. He's just a little nervous. Oh, oh man. What are you doing? Then we will leave you and perform the sacred rites. Uh... And so they waited, as the embalmers performed their rituals. Terrified groans echoed through the cavernous chambers. Many hours passed, until finally... How did you know about this? Until finally... Maybe one day you got drunk and spilled the beans to Eloy. Until finally... It's taking a long time, but I'd rather be here than with poor Jabba. We must wait, my lord. That's all we can do. Dark obey! Thanks, son. She's coming back. It is done. You may take your father's body and lay it to rest. Okay. This is also for you. Many years ago, your ancestor, the Enslaver, made us a gift of it. Now I return it to your family. Good. The last mask. He is unharmed, my lord. But he has witnessed things that few men have seen and heard. Oh, there are some mysteries I prefer not to uncover. Let's return to Mo, Adam. Yeah, I think I'm with Eve on this one. Before we leave, you should know that the embalmers have mastered many strange arts. Perhaps their knowledge may be of use to us. Please embalm our enemies? Your counselor speaks the truth. We have perfected certain weapons which men may use against the tyrant. Well, I guess that would be good to the lost Raptors not have there. Totally win this war for us. We shared these powers with the architect, and we are also willing to share them with you, but only when you become king of your people. Please leave and come back. But you have just embalmed his father, and Adam is the heir. He is our king! Thank you. Look. The rightful King of Mashar is truly known only by a golden sword of great age and beauty. I do not see it. The golden sword, yes. Go fetch. Yep. So she's not gonna talk to us right now. What does Monk have to say about this golden sword? We should hurry back to Mo, my lord. Your father must be placed alongside his ancestors. Literally nothing. Excellent. <laughs> I like to think that Jabber is just really happy to get out of the castle for a little while. I just skip for you since it's the. Let us go north. Hi. I've heard there's a queen there who resists the tyrants. I don't think I can go right now. Come, we must now lay your father's body to rest in the crypt of the ancients. The ceremony must be done in the room of the ancients. That's the room where we are keeping all the uh, corpses that we ruined, right? Should be. I hope the embalming ceremony was successful. What's wrong with Jabber? 
He looks unwell. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Okay. Don't go me! <laughs> I don't know why I ever expect anything different. I'm a thug, but... I don't think you do. I, I just think you like talking to them. Yeah, I do. Alright, let's go down to the corpse room, the dump dad's corpse. So are they implying that they only ever involve the king? Apparently. And that Adam's family line has been king's. I will leave you to meditate before your father, my lord. I don't really want to do that. That's... Hi, Dad. Great. The king is dead. Long live the Magnificent. There. Not much of a ceremony, I know, but when we have more pressing matters... You're the only <laughs> one here to see it, so, uh... <laughs> I wish I could present you with the Golden Sword of Mashar, the symbol of your office. But alas, it was lost some years ago. Of course it was. <laughs> it would be too easy if we still had it. May your reign be long and prosperous, Lord Adam. Hi, Lord. The ceremony can wait until after our victory, Adam. It is you we follow, not a crown. Hi. Adam King. Thug happy. Thanks, Thug. No, I can Thanks, I think. Jabber, you don't seem too happy. Are you unwell? Mm -hmm. He said no. Monk, I'm having a hard time, uh... Trusting you, man. You are mistaken, Monk. I think he said yes. He is indeed unwell. Nonsense, Eloy. He, he never felt better in his life. That's definitely the sound of somebody who's totally fine. Yeah. Adam. The poor man needs rest. He must stay here at Mo. You see, he did say yes. I don't think you understand what he says clearly, Monk. I am an old man, Eli. I, I can make mistakes, you know, and he wasn't speaking very clearly. Poor fellow. That's rude, Monk. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I wonder if you can understand anything he says, Monk. I can't help feeling you played a trick on the poor executioner. It's also rude. But maybe true. Hey, he's gone. Bye. So anyways, we lost the uh, sword. Oh, we didn't. Somebody lost the sword. Monk probably like dropped it outside somewhere. Show me where you want to go. Now ah, this must be where. Uh... Hold on, we'll be with Charlie. That's not where I want to go. <laughs> wanted to go. Show me where you want to go. Uluru, it is. I'll be happy to see the Ulele again. That turn in that mask. Yep grab a random object of power, probably pick up the wrong one, you know. This might be worthwhile to see how the Citadel is doing, too, since they should probably be upgraded by now. In theory. Unless the Triceratops are really slow. Oh, that's a fortress. 
I will go with you into the valley, Adam of Mo. Our citadel is almost finished. The tyrant will never tear our fortress to the ground. Almost, huh? I assume everybody has that kind of a scene, but we got things to do. The Mask of Death! The Eulalie will celebrate this day. This is our last object of power. May it serve oh, to free the world of Tyran. Thanks. Anyways, later. Show me where you want to go. Got places to go. Shandova it is. Gee. So, we traveled northwards in search of the warrior queen. I wonder which object of power you'll need here. That's a tough call. Also, because this game can't possibly die be, like, divergent at this point. I'm going to assume this lady has the sword that we're looking for. Just, you know, coincidentally. <laughs> we have watched your progress, strangers. Shazia awaits your arrival. Oh. Uh, you look and sound exactly like somebody we met somewhere else. <laughs> look like Shazian. Be wary, my lord. These people Wait. have been watching us. There may be a trap. Well, I guess that, I was gonna say, what, what are you doing here, Monk? But Monk is the king's attendant, so I guess that kind of makes sense, makes doesn't sense it? that he's here now. Your mission is to unite all races. Adam, you must see this Shazia, whoever she may be. Why is the U cap Mars? Because now you're king. Shazia the Proud is our queen. You must follow me to her. Okay, let's do that then. Not gonna tell me where she is, huh? Good luck! You must follow me to her. Huh! Hug fine apple again! Happy now. I'm doing this really because I want to know what this thing is. <laughs> Actually, Mark, what is this? A sinister thing? Rude! Thanks, Mark. Thug, what is this? Not want! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder which valley we're supposed to use that in. Don't be so blonde, Eve. Dave. Please. Do you know which valley it's for? <sighs> Yoloi! There is no joy in these bones. Only dread. I don't know if there's usually there's no... joy in bones, but, but you know. Let's find our water friend. I mean, this guy wants me to follow him. Is that it? Yep. Good guess on my part, I guess. The guy wants me to follow him, but then he isn't going to tell me where he wants me to go. Uh, he can deal with me wasting time. This is, this is completely unnecessary, but... I like to have the names for items. He said the river that winds will drive the tyrant from this valley. Okay. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. The river that winds, huh? What does that have to do with the bone necklace? Oh, oh hi. Nice, uh, skirt. <laughs> I am Shazia. If you come to fight the tyrant filth, you are welcome. You've got a very broad neck. <laughs> My lord, it is as I feared. A trap. Look, the woman wears the necklace of... The necklace of Olos Atha. It is mine by right of birth. My mother placed it round my neck as she lay dying from wounds in the field of battle. I feel like this is going to a plot twist that uh, is going to be really stupid. Gee, what can make you think that? If that were so, 
then this queen would be the daughter of Jelana, wife of... Hi, sis. How you doing? Wife of Gregor the Valiant. <laughs> My mother called him the quivering worm of low. She lies, my lord. Lady Jelana and her daughter Leonor were killed by the Tyrhan. You were but a babe in arms at the time. You would have no memory of those events. What? You are Adam. Adam of Mo, son of Gregor the Worm. Then you are. You are my brother. Huh. Dead? Alive? Will someone explain? And why is Queen Shavia with the Shorians? Why are the Shorians here? That's a good question. When the tyrant, Morcus Rex, came to Mashal, Gregor, my father, the worm, had no stomach for battle. One night, my mother took me in her arms and left. I apologize that this lady's voice comes out hard to hear. It's really quiet even to us. Yeah. <laughs> At the place called Shamar, we invited the people to join us. Most were wary of our ambitions, but not all. Some joined our cause. We traveled to this place and began to spill the tyrant's blood. So I'm off of a warrior. This cannot be, my lord. Your mother and sister are dead. Your father found their bodies and buried them himself. And his daughter's name was Leonor, not Shazia. I took another name. In the ancient languages of the Chorians, Shazia means great queen. I thought it's a little for yourself. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at this, my brother, and doubt me. No. Oh, what a shock. The sword. Can this be? It is the golden sword of Mashar. I never thought I'd see it again. Calm down, Mark. Yes, it is the golden sword. My mother took it with her because the worm of Mo didn't deserve to have it. She gave it to me. And I shall never part with it. I, I get the feeling you will eventually. I think on that note, though, it's time to break this. <laughs> on that really painfully stupid note. So, uh, next time, let's see if we can deal with our sister. Not... That sounds yeah. bad. Let's, let's see if we can make a deal with our sister. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, later, guys.